First, I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to call this arrow GIF. I'm going to set the dimensions to 600 by 600 pixels and create a new document. I'm now going to drag my logo onto the page as I'd like this to be a part of the GIF. I'm going to center it and bring this down towards the bottom. I'm now going to create a timeline and click create video template and then click the three squares on the bottom left and this is my first frame. I'm just going to make the logo smaller and drag this towards the bottom. Centered, right, okay. Now I'm going to click on the custom shape tool which is where I get my arrow symbol from and if you click on the shape at the top panel you can select what symbol you'd like. So I'm just going to enlarge this and click the selection tool. I'm just going to turn this around so it's pointing down towards the logo. So I'm going to rotate it and make it smaller. Now I'm just going to change the color back to black so you can see it a bit more. And then I'll center this. Click the new page symbol at the bottom. Now because this is the first frame, I want it to start off at the top and then I'd like the next frame to start off at the bottom. So if I were to play it, this is what it looks like. But if I want to make that smoother, I can click on tween option at the bottom, which is basically the dots in a row. What that does is joins two frames together, but in a seamless manner. So as you can see, it's added five frames. And to make that look seamless, I'm just going to change the timing to no delay. And now I can export, save for web, click save and save to my desktop. And this is what the final product looks like. Thanks for watching.